EOG mini lesson number 10. Mayor ha Michael has a fair coin. What is the probability of Michael flipping the coin two times and it landing on heads both times? All right, so I'm going to draw myself a, um, a tree diagram. So my options are heads or tails for the first coin. And then for the second coin, I could get heads or tails. And if I, if I did tails first, I could get heads or tails on the second coin. So the probability that I would land heads up both times is one out of one, two, three, four. Or I could have done one half because one out of two times for heads times one half because of one out of two times for the heads on the second coin and gotten one fourth that way. It doesn't matter, you choose your strategy. All right, then it says two number cubes are rolled numbered one through six. Um, these are the possible outcomes. So the first number represents the first die. Second number represents the second die. How many outcomes are possible for rolling a sum of at least five? So at least five. So five or low, at least five. So five or higher. Okay, so that would be... Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty one, twenty two, twenty three, twenty four, twenty five, twenty six, twenty seven, twenty eight, twenty nine, thirty. So you might have to write out your sample space to figure this out, or you can look at kind of what the pattern is. So there were, if I rolled a one, there were three possible options. If I rolled a two first, there were four. So you could look at it that way. Or you could write out your sample space and count them like I did. Dylan conducted an experiment by fl flipping a penny a hundred times and recording the results. He observed that the penny landed on heads 17 times. Based on Dylan's results, what is the experimental probability that the penny will land on heads? Well, 17 out of 100. So in my calculator, or I could do long division, 17 divided by 100. So 100 goes into 170 one time. A 100 goes into 700 seven times. With no remainder. So the experimental probability is what's actually happening. The theoretical probability is what should happen. In this case, it should have been 0.5. So it should have been 50-50. But because they're asking for the experimental probability, what did this experiment have that happened? Um, it would be 0.17 because 17 times out of 100. Yashira randomly pulled a colored block from a bag and replaced it 25 times. Here are the results shown in the table. How many black blocks would you expect Yahara to pull from the bag if she randomly pulled 100 blocks? Okay, so they want to know black, and I'm comparing that to the total. So I know she got 5 out of 25 so out of 25 tries, she got five black blocks. So out of 100, so I divide going up, multiply coming down. 100 divided by 25 is four, four times five is 20. So I would expect her to pull out 20 black blocks. Let me know if you have any questions. There is no cool down today. Have a great rest of your day, bye.